when you gather this information and you are sharing it with the global community, you get much more information from there. In the longer term context, you will have, uh, uh, we call it in AC mode, basket of options for uh, soil water conservation. The longer term benefit is that we can reshape our programs, tying it up with the global things, then choose the best options, make better programs and they will be uh, more uh, sustainable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Experience made available through WorkAt can be accessed in different formats and as different outputs. A CD-ROM and the Internet facilitate the search for information for computer users. Books and maps are available for individuals and institutions who don't have PCs. Drawing on the knowledge represented in the database, land users and specialists make a joint decision about the technology or approach to be applied. Together they adapt it to local conditions and implement it at the farm level. Both the design of measures for a particular farm and the process of planning and decision making at provincial or national level benefit from the experience made available in WorkAt. Wherever realistic options are needed, it's safe to rely on measures tested and evaluated in a different place, but in a similar context. WorkAt can be of big help in terms of developing all these tools and have at least an idea on other countries' uh, technologies in terms of uh, soil and water conservation, probably community development, and watershed management development, and sharing of information. I guess that's a good strategy that WOCAT uh, has initiated. Knowledge is indeed crucial for conserving soils and using them more productively. There are many known examples where land users have produced positive, sustainable impacts in only a few years. These examples, if made accessible in a proper way, can help to optimize development efforts and use funds more effectively. We must build trees and even build better soils. If we destroy everything, we will lack the opportunities for sowing and harvesting, and people will complain heavily. Unless we change, we may lose everything. The soil is the source of livelihood for human beings as well as for animals and plants. Because crop diversity is a part of soil conservation, there's no need to have a lot of land in order to have a little bit of everything. If we need some sugar cane, we have it. At the same time, the strips of cane protect the soil. We have fruit like sweet bananas and cooking bananas. We have coffee. We also have these little plants, gandul beans, that add to the fertility of the soil. WOCAD operates as a global network of soil and water conservation specialists. More than 25 institutions and many individuals have invested considerable resources in its creation. A management group helps to coordinate the network and to further refine the methodology. It also provides training and other support services according to the needs of national and regional initiatives, especially relevant during the launch of new initiatives. WOCAT is, is essentially asking of us as professionals to donate our knowledge, our time, often unpaid time, to create a, a much larger and much more valuable 
piece of information, a, a knowledge database. In exchange for their contribution, WorkOut participants broadened their knowledge in a growing network of international contacts. Together with others, they learn in the field from small and large-scale land users and from experts from many countries. In the process, both the methodology and the knowledge base are expanded further. The ability to deal with the complex task of soil and water conservation is enhanced step by step. WOCAT's potentials and applications keep growing, while its tools, methodology and data are a public domain, available free of charge to anyone who's interested. Those who have an interest in sharing their experience, in participating or in building up additional regional nodes, can count on qualified training and support. <coughs> Before we came to this workshop, um, I was really scared that WorkCat would just be a very nice idea without real applications and the people would see that there's not really a place for it, in the, for example, in the provinces. But to me this was really an eye-opener and the, the positive attitude of the people and the need for WorkCat, it really made me realize that people are hungry for information and to share information. Every year we add more countries. So within uh, five years we will cover at least the nine countries in the Sahel. And uh, from the Sahel we will expand it to the rest of West Africa. So I would see in ten years time, WOCAD will be a very strong institution of knowledge sharing. As you're providing, it is in position, it's in digital format, it is in printed format, and the success would be when on the ground the farmer says, I benefited. As a worldwide forum, WOCAT brings land users, specialists, planners and extension agents together in a process of shared learning. Experience makes clear that participation in the adventure of sharing information does not conflict with ongoing activities. Rather, it enriches them and adds additional opportunities and dimensions. WOCAT offers decisive advantages that can now be built into research, planning and implementation in the field. It provides knowledge that helps deal with poverty reduction and food security. It contributes to the implementation of international conventions, including Agenda 21 and the conventions on desertification, climate change and biodiversity. Based on the conviction that it's important to share knowledge, WOCAT, the world overview of conservation approaches and technologies, welcomes new initiatives and contributions. <laughs>